Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the Real True Divine Feminine, and I come with a quick little message. And today, I am talking to married couples. Married couples. This message is for you guys. My message to the married men. As a married man, it is your job to provide for your family pay bills do all that that's what you was put here to do as a man to protect and to provide for your family okay to you married women you are here to nurture your children take care of your household love on your husband Anything a man gives you as a woman, you should multiply it. Period. A lot of you women all wanted to be chose. And I'm not, I'm just, I'm just saying all of the shoe don't fit. Don't put that shit on you. Period. Don't tussle in my conversation. I'll go with your mammy, not me. Listen. Some of you guys, some of you women, I'm going to say that. Some of you women, yeah, get these husbands, good husbands, provider husbands, and y'all damage these men. Y'all break these men. You don't expire your men. You don't pray for them. You don't encourage them. You just tear them down. And one day they might go to a store and they getting out the car and somebody else, a female is getting out her car at the same time. And she say, good morning. How you doing? I pray you have a blessed day. And that touch his soul, his spirit, because he's not used to that. And then he goes home to you who's bickering and complaining. Bam. And he happens to go somewhere with the kids one day and he run into that same female and she say, hello, how y'all doing? God bless y'all. Oh, they so beautiful. They so cute. I'm going to be praying for y'all. Bam. Then he go home to you. You still complain about something. Something. Something is always something. So then he runs into her again and they start having a conversation and she just gives him advice. Praise with him, encourage him, and he starts feeling something on the inside. Then he goes home to you, and you're complaining, you're bickering, you're doing this, you're doing that. It's always something. Women, a lot of y'all, you know why? how y'all lose? Why are y'all losing? Because y'all are so selfish. It's all about you. If you have a man that's working two, three jobs, willing to do whatever just to keep you happy, why is it so hard for you to love your man? This is what you wanted. If you did not want this man, why would you make him get invested all these years emotionally, financially, physically invested in you? Because you seen a way for you to come up. Some of you women, y'all start off with nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. These men are put you through school. These men uh, lay back so you can become what you need to be. And when you become what you need to be, you dog walk them. You dog them out. You belittle them. You start getting a little change in your account. Then you want to talk down on them, talk bad about them. You want to do this and do that. Oh, you don't make the money that I make, but hey. But they working two, three, four jobs to provide, to keep you with a lifestyle with trips, a big home, whatever car you want. Keep your nails done, your toes done, your all this. And you steady, and you, and you steady being appreciated of the man that God provided for you or that you provided for yourself. Because some of y'all, Y'all will swear on heaven on earth that the man that God, oh, this your husband, this who God got for you, but you're sleeping with somebody else. If that's the man that God got for you, 
If that's the man that God told you is yours, why is it so quick for you to sleep with his cousin, his homeboys, and any other man that come along? Because the man that God got for you is going to satisfy you in every form and fashion of level in your life. You ain't going to have to look on no outside for nothing. See, it's different when, when you put yourself with somebody and when God put yourself, put his, and when God put you with somebody is a big, totally difference. And that's where y'all get it mixed up at. Okay. Fellas. Okay. When you're with a woman or when y'all out here choosing these women, y'all so say call y'all wives. Make sure you're not choosing her because she bad. Cause, cause looks change. You heard me? I might gain by 30 pounds. Shit, I might gain a hundred pounds. I might lose weight. I might drop on my feet. It all depends on sickness come within women. All these things come within women. So if you're not going to stick around for a long time, don't make it a good time either. Y'all have to know, you men, y'all choose this woman. Oh, I'm going to choose this because they heading down this way. They heading down that way. Some of you men are so spiritually blind by all the illusions these females is painting out here till it don't make no damn sense. Y'all be so quick. Oh, yeah, they got some bread. They got this. They got that. Half of y'all, half of y'all good, intelligent, smart men, thugs too. Y'all get involved with so many people with these Ponzi schemes. Y'all get involved with so many con artists. But because they put together, you think you got a prize when you got a baby little con artist that is eventually going to get your ass caught up. Y'all have to learn how to choose y'all spouses better. And if, if your woman is cooking, cleaning, satisfying you, making sure you good, your appetite don't need to be no bigger than what she feeding you, point blank and period. You don't need to be looking nowhere else but inside of your house. Like I said, if they doing what they supposed to do. It's no such thing as in a marriage. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't feel like it. It's no, that, that shouldn't even be in your vocabulary inside of a marriage. Because we made these choices together. We made this choice to become one, to love, honor, respect, whatever y'all say. I don't know. Whatever y'all said, doing y'all vows. I don't know. Y'all got to stop making these commitments and not fulfilling these commitments. And then y'all want to get mad when y'all husband or y'all wives go mess with Ricky at the gym and go work and go sleep with Paula down the street. You can't get mad at nobody but yourself, baby. You can't get mad at when you're not feeling the desires and doing what you got to do. If you started talking at me and not to me, then I'm going to get somebody else who's going to talk to me and not at me. If you if you steady tearing me down, when I'm about to go look, I'm about to so I'm about to go and get me somebody who's gonna build me up, and it ain't about nothing to do with ego, but it's about treating me how I want to be treated, treat me how I treat be treating you. Another thing, you women, y'all quick to run to y'all mama, talk about y'all relationship problems or whatever. Listen, your mama making you think that she was all good too. Your mama was a hoe. Period. Your mama did her. I'm not talking about all y'all mamas. But some of y'all mamas, that's what they was. They were side chicks. They was all the rest of this. But worried about your relationship. Y'all be so quick to listen. It's not supposed to be me, my mama, my daddy, my husband in our household. It's supposed to be my husband is the head and I'm the neck. So guess what? Boy, you can't flinch without me. You can't do nothing without me. That's how it's supposed to be. But see, nowadays, you women, <clears throat> y'all want to overstep y'all boundaries because y'all spiritually blind. Yeah, I ain't getting up before y'all man go to work and kick him no breakfast and pray with this man. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't in the bed. Oh, you leaving? Bye. 
I, who tells you? Who, why would you tell your man bye? You know, you tell your man, I'm going to see you later because anything can happen to them while they going to and fro to provide for their family. What, what, if you get, you can get up and be messy on the phone with your friends, but you can't get up to go fix your man no breakfast. We can talk about it. Y'all not going to like when I talk about it, but we going to talk about it. But yet, that's your husband. But then when they find somebody else that's willing to cook for them, that's willing to wash their clothes, fold their laundry, and do all the rest of this, that's not willing to take all their money from them, but ask them, do they need something? How can I help you? Then you mad and you upset. Oh, she broke my home. No, you broke your own home. You broke your own home by not paying attention to your spouse. Not seeking, seeing what your spouse need and what they want. By being so selfish and worrying about yourself and what you can get out of it. Half of y'all are in a marriage right now and y'all are so pressed about a single person. How they live in their life, how they look. I have never seen so many women in my life so intimidated about how another woman look. What another woman doing. I never seen this kind of stuff before. This is this is new to me. This is mind blowing. This is my we don't do this where I'm from. We don't we don't do none of that. I don't understand. Why does a, a another woman's beauty have to do with if she beautiful, she beautiful. You give her, her props, that's it. You don't try to tear her down, you uplift. Same way with a man. If he has some, he nice looking man, that's a nice looking brother right there. Whatever. You don't tear him down. Y'all be in these marriages that 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 that's, that's that's causing chaos and havoc in your household because you worried about things that's not in your household. Your household, your union is falling apart because you your eyes is focused outside of your household instead of being focused inside of your household. Instead of fixing what's inside, you worried about what's outside. Your man can't even come and talk to you because you're so offensive because you're watching somebody else's life. you jealous and intimidated by somebody else. You want somebody else's life. So when he come to talk to you, you all defensive. He don't even want to talk to you no more. Remember, women, men hide their emotions. Unless you're dealing with a man child, then he don't do that. But a, a real man, they hide their emotions. That don't mean that they don't have no emotions. That don't mean that they don't have no feelings. They hide it though. You heard me? Us women, we express our stuff. We might get loud. We might start crying. We might throw stuff. We catch a tent. We'll send you. We'll send you six books texts because we want you to understand where we're coming from. Because some women, they don't know how to sit down and say, "We need to talk." A woman that has something on her mind all day and wait till you good and sleeping and wake up on top of you like she trying to threaten you with a knife or something to tell you how to feel instead of being a grown woman when you walk in and say, hey, you know, honey, after we get the kids settled, we need to have a discussion. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do that. And y'all tearing down y'all marriages, y'all tearing down y'all households because y'all not healing. Y'all, a lot of y'all women in these marriages still got mother and father issues still got issues and afraid to tell your husband that you have an issue like babe i need to see somebody i need to go to a counselor i need to tell you what happened to me when i y'all y'all want y'all like to be so perfect you you need to put up this facade that i'm miss goody two shoe that i'm perfect i'm this and that and then years down the line, when stuff start coming out, you start being angry. You start being bitter. You start being this. Stuff start triggering you. And then this man starts seeing a side of you that he never seen because you wasn't honest from the junk. And letting them know, hey, I did this. I did that. And I did this. I went through this. I went through that. We all go through things. Yeah, we, us as women, we got to stop hiding our trauma and face our trauma. Because guess what? We can have a perfectly good man and we will destroy him because we have so much of traumas. Men, listen, a lot of y'all, 
And when I say a lot, a lot of y'all have been sexually abused by y'all cousins, y'all grandmas, y'all grandpas, y'all aunties, y'all uncles, school teachers, a lot of stuff. And as a man, y'all don't like to talk about that. Y'all don't like to talk about y'all feelings. The reason why is because people always tell y'all stop crying. You ain't a man ain't supposed to cry bullshit. You my man, you cry, I'm going to hold you while you cry. Let that shit out. We're going to love each other. I'm going to hear you, you hear me. That's how we're going to do this. Y'all like to keep stuff inside because guess what? You can't go to your women because cause these women, the first time you tell them something, the mad they come, they want to throw it in your face. That's not what a marriage is about. A marriage is loving each other. To death do us part. I'm going to love you. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to respect you. I'm going to honor you. So if your husband say your ratchet ass friends can't come to your house, your ratchet ass friends can't come to your house. If your wife say, your thought pocket homeboy that's always talking about how you smash, man, I smashed this girl, smashed that. I don't want you around them. Man, that's what, don't don't bring them around your girl, period. It got to be some kind of respecting going on in these marriages. Y'all, y'all making it, a lot of these marriages these days, making people who never been married, don't even want to be married. Because it's a joke to y'all. Some of y'all just get married for financial reasons. It look good on paper. Then when you don't have no fucking money. Then when you don't have nothing. You can't even buy your can of poking beans. Because you didn't got with this gold digger. Who didn't suck. First she didn't suck your nuts dry with all these kids. You heard me? So she know how to hit your pockets. Then after this she didn't suck that dry. She's sucking your bank account dry for a lifestyle. She don't want you to be happy. She don't want you to advance. She keep making threats. Let me tell y'all another thing. Listen. In these marriages, you don't let nobody threaten you. I'm going to take you for child support. Take me for child support. I don't give a damn. God will provide. Listen to this. God will provide for you. A lot of y'all is losing focus. Y'all stay somewhere. Y'all y'all miserable. God says, my peace. I leave with you. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do. But your peace is so important to you. I don't give a damn if it's at a job, a church, a school, wherever is it. If your peace is being disturbed, you need to get out of there and get out of there fast. Because God says, my peace, I leave with you. Women, stop disrespecting these men who's sacrificing so much for you to have a lavish lifestyle, so much for you to be happy, for you to keep a smile up on their feet, and you cannot satisfy them. You can't be for, be there for them when they need because you too busy trying to be something else. Women, we were put here to be wives. You hear me? We come here complete. When a man come into our life that we at, we, he just add the rest that we need. A man is here to provide for us. We have to learn how to get back to the basic and let these men be men and be providers that they're supposed to be. Stop demasculating these men. And just because he ain't making 7, 7K, 8K, 10K a year, that doesn't mean that he's not a man. That doesn't mean that he's not a provider. Sometimes in certain seasons, you got to do the best that you can with what you have. In some seasons, we may be up and in some seasons we may be down. But if you said till death do us part, then that's what it is. If you rocking, then I'm rolling, baby. If you riding, then I promise you I'm going to be sliding. However it is, you wash my back, I'm going to scratch yours. Get back to the basic in these marriages and stop. Stop. If that's who you love, if that's who you want to be with, if that's the man that you want to marry, my man ain't going out outside of my house for no sex and look nowhere else if I'm his wife. If I'm his wife and he making sure we got light, water, gas, just the necessities. Man, I'm going to do what I got to do for my man. There's no such thing as y'all tired. Y'all make time for everything else but for y'all husbands. A man will take off work, 
knowing his money funny to take you on vacation, to spend this time with you, to buy you this. It's your birthday. He about to celebrate you. You think men care about birthdays and stuff? A man care about Father's Day. I'm going to say a man, a man care about, I would say like Father's Day and maybe Christmas. The rest of that stuff, they don't be caring about. But Father's Day, man, acknowledge me. Man, my seed, I gave you my seed. I choose you. Listen, I'm going to tell you, sometimes people slip up, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people slip up and, you know, protection break or whatever, and you have a baby with somebody, and they really probably didn't want the baby with you. But listen, if a man shooting up that Twinkie, guess what? That man chose you to give you the seeds, to bless you with them seeds. He chose you. So that man going to do everything that he possibly can to make you happy. You heard me? And if you and that man decide to go y'all separate ways, a real man, he going to make sure you still got a house and money in your pocket. But you trifling women that be trying to suck a man dry because he want to live, that ain't the way, baby. You reap what you sow. You heard me? You reap what you sow. So guess what? If you was being disloyal to this man in this marriage, he going to find somebody that's loyal and go, and then you're going to be mad. But that you reap what you sow, what you put out, that's what you get. So if you, if you, if you be a nonchalant in your marriage, he going to start being nonchalant with you. If you be disrespectful in your marriage, he going to be disrespectful to you. Y'all got to start respecting y'all spouses. Women, stop tearing y'all men down. Stop tearing y'all men down. Encourage them. You working all day. You doing a side job. You doing another job. You bringing in the bread. You making sure I'm good. You making sure the kids good. You doing all the rest of this. Guess what, baby? I see you. I see you, King. I see you. I see you. It it, 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 it take a little time to appreciate what you have. If you don't appreciate what you have, it's going to be gone. Men. They, they, they kings. You heard me? I don't care what color you is, what race you is, because that ain't got nothing to do with this. But it, it, you are a king. A man is a king. That's what they put here to do to provide. But if you tan him down every chance you get, you demasculating him. We don't need them to be demasculating. They already telling, telling them, the, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. Look. Yeah, they're already confusing the, the, the young boys that's coming up. That's not what we're doing. We're not what we're doing. And let me tell y'all something. We're going to talk about it in these marriages. Did this go for men and women? When yo, if you're going through something and, and his partner always there for you, that's, that's, that's a thing called emotional bonding. And say you... Say your husband, you're not never there for him, but his partner always is. And one day they get drunk and something happened, blase, blase. That's on y'all. Look, I'm not getting into y'all business now. Don't come in my comment section talking about nothing because I don't care about your sexuality. That's on, that's, that's on y'all. I don't care, but I'm just saying stuff happens. He might be drunk one day, bam. Him and his stuff might go to his partner might be by and something might happen between him and his partner. And he come to you and he tell you this happened on accident. Stop holding it over that man's head. You heard me? It, something happened because guess what? Same thing might happen with you. You might get drunk one day and, and you and you might lick the lickety split. You heard me? I don't know. And you go to him. He ain't gonna hold it over your head. Stop, stop. Make a safe place. Like we make a safe. Well, I don't know if what y'all do. If y'all make a safe place for y'all kids, make a safe place for your spouse as well, where they can come and they can talk to you. Because if you don't, they're going to find somebody else who's going to accept them, who's going to be able to talk to them or whatever. And they're not trying to take your place, but they're just trying to be emotional to support to somebody that they see need. Don't let no other woman See something that your husband need and provide it to him. Don't let your, don't let no other man see something that your wife need and provide it to them, because that's not going to be that other person's fault. That's going to be your fault. 
because you're not doing what you need to do. I don't know who this message is for. Um, I just pray that it help y'all. Whoever it is, whoever this this whoever needs to hear this message, whoever married, watching me, going through this, going through that inside of their marriage, love on your spouse, spend time with your spouse, talk to your spouse. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm a firm believer of this right here. If I know my man get off at nine, I'm just saying my man don't stay out of my business. Now listen, I'm just saying, if my man get off at nine and I personally feel like my kids should have already been fed. They should have already been bathed. They should have already been nothing. The house should have already been clean. So I can, when my man come home, oh baby, you got some hot food. How was your day? We could sit, you could eat your food. We could sit down, we could talk. We could take a shower together. I'm just saying, I'm just saying y'all. I'm not about to tell y'all what to do in y'all relationships. Y'all do what y'all want. I'm just giving y'all my advice. Um. Saying y'all gotta get y'all together, get back to the love inside of y'all marriages, point blank and period. This is not for single people. Again, this is for married people. Get back into the love into your marriages. You heard me? Things fall make sometimes things fall apart for it to come back better. Sometimes I'm just saying, sometimes I'm not married now. Sometimes a man can go out and mess with somebody else. For him to recognize what he got at home. Sometimes. Sometimes a woman go out and she mess with somebody else. Then she recognize what she has at home. Like I said, things will fall apart. Sometimes things fall apart only to come back better. That's all I'm saying. It's your girl, The Real Truth Divine Feminine. Peace.